Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 8 of the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. We are here in Pastoria City, uh, as we left off last time, but I believe what the game would like me to do now is to head to Lake Vala. Let's check out this place. Hey. At our restaurant you can enjoy more than just exquisite dining, you may also partake in battles. Cool. Um, I really like the restaurants in X and Y where you could like battle trainers. I, oh, what a brilliant game. I love that game. My wife's in the hospital waiting to, oh, she's having a baby. Yeah, let's go. Let's have some double battles. Put mud to the test. <laughs> Veteran Emmanuel and last life. Okay, we've got a Chingling and a Machoke, and we're sending out Mud and Daddy. <sighs> okay, big brain, what am I doing? What do I want to do? We've got a Fighting type and we've got a Psychic type. We'll start with Rain Dance, and then we'll go with Water Pulse. Um, and I'm going to use Payback on Chingling. Ooh, quick claw. That's good. Nice. Off to a great start. Okay, Baneri. I'm gonna water pulse Machoke and I'm gonna karate chop Baneri. Damn, Daddy, what are you so fast for? <laughs> Slow down. Please, please, please leave him alone. Leave him alone. He's only a fragile slug boy. Ugh. Thanks. Bronzor. I don't really like that, to be honest. Haven't really got a great match for Bronzor yet. Or have I? Come on, Mud. Come on, Mud. Please. Yeah, mud! Cool. And now we're gonna have another evolution. God, I love mud! Baby slug boy! I'm so excited! There he is! Yeah! I hate that slurp noise he just made. <laughs> Congratulations, your mud evolved into Gastrodon. Okay, hello. The Pokemon of the lake won't come out for census people. Ah. Oh. It was me who filmed that Red Gyarados at Lake of Rage. That is a really nice reference to the Gold Silver Crystal series. But it would appear that I've been stupid and didn't realize we had to beat Crash Awake. <laughs> My bad, we're gonna go back to the gym. We're gonna go take on Crash Awake. This is Mercutio's time to shine as Crash Awake is a water type gym leader. Oh wait, I fly now, what am I doing? <laughs> I know it's not very far, but we can just fly there. Oh, fuck. I'll test you and your Pokemon out, see how buff and tough you are. Buff and tough. <laughs> I'm sorry. He just said buff and tough. Well, I may not be very buff, but you know who is buff? Mud! Fuck him up. Actually, I don't think I can fuck you up. Because flying types are immune to ground attacks that I just tried to use. <laughs> I'm stupid. Alright, let's go with Rain Dance. Yeah. Yeah, you're not the only one who can have a strat. Okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna use Water Pulse. Wing Attack. Um, it already used that on me, so we... No! Mud! What? Uh, do I have any X accuracies? No. That's okay. That's fine. You coward! <gasps> Don't do that! Karen! Face your problems like a man! Staravia, we meet again. Don't switch out this time. Hang on. No, I didn't get to attack it last time. Hmm. So that's two out of his however many that no double team. Oh my god, a one shot. Good job, Mud! That is a magnificent boy if I've ever seen one. Do I want to keep battling for Prim Pluck? You know, I believe in Mud. We're gonna body slam. All right, that didn't do a whole lot, but that's okay. I don't know if I'd be better off using Water Pulse at the moment. Uh, let's try Water Pulse and then we'll switch out for another Pokemon after Karen's had their turn. Because it's not, like Mud's not having a great time with this type matchup. So we're gonna swap out for Mikushio. Mikushio is gonna lead in this gym and I've got a good feeling about him. Although I'm not sure where or when we're gonna find a shiny stone. Uh, let's go with Giga Drain. Good job! What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Isn't that the exact same thing he said last time? Heh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you did get a little bit tougher since last time. That even shocked me a bit. So yeah. I got beat because I was careless. Oh, yeah. I joined Mr. Wake as an apprentice. What? I want my own theme song. You've already got your own theme song. The game gave you one! We're gonna go heal up and then we're gonna go take on Crash Awake. If I could remember where the Pokemon Center is though, that would also be helpful. We are in Crash Awake's gym. We are about to go take him on. Hello! I've been around the world going from place to place training Pokemon. It's this gym I've chosen to make my home. You can bet it's tough! Aye aye, matey! That was gross, sorry. Sailor Damien. Aw, Wingull! I had a... Can I use Toxic? I'm gonna use Toxic. Just gets water flying. So, uh, even though, like, I reckon I could still probably kill it with a Grass-type move, um, just in case I have a little bit of trouble. I've always got poison. Okay, that did way better than I thought it would. I know we're like a lot higher level, but still. Pelipper! Pelipper was on my first Ruby team. The first Ruby team I ever had was a Blaziken, Agron, Exploud, Pelipper, Flygon, and Altaria. I love those dudes. I think we can fight gym leader now. No? There we go. Here we go. We are here battling Crash Awake. I'm going to give Editing Me an opportunity to take this screenshot for the thumbnail if she wishes. Do it. Welcome. I don't need to get challenged very often. I've already fucked that up. Welcome! I 
don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crash Awake. My Pokemon are toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. He's got pretty big personality, so I felt like I had to give him like a very big voice. Oh, I love that animation. He's like, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, going straight in with Gyarados. I, do I want to start off with Toxic? I think I do. That is perfectly fine. Dark type move on a poison type, fine. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna start with Giga Drain. I'm not gonna go in with Petal Dance just yet. Cause we might not need it. Or maybe we do. <laughs> gonna go bite again, that's fine. Not a huge problem. Actually, we can go with Giga Drain again because then uh, if it doesn't faint from that, it'll faint from the poison. Okay, we're off to a great start. Very proud of Mikushio right now. Nothing is stopping him. Float Cell. Okay, we haven't seen a Float Cell in the game yet. I have another weird story. So, one time I was sitting in my bedroom, I was maybe like 14 and it was really windy outside and uh, some wind blew past that made like the- <gasps> Oh fuck! Okay, if that had been a critical hit, Mikushio would be dead. It's level 37. Oh, thank God it's a one-shot, but now we're stuck in Petal Dance. I could have just made a really, really big mistake. Okay, Quagsire. Mikushi will be faster than Quagsire. I did not prepare for that. Hey, that was there. That hey, there, there is a good, good move. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Anyway, wind story. Uh, some wimbly passed and it made the same cries, like it's, it made the same noise as Floats was crying in the game. It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, that was. That could have been a real problem. <laughs> it seems that Undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. Okay, so we've got the Fen badge from Crash Awake. Okay, I that was a little bit unexpected. So I think moving forward, when we're up against a water type that's faster than us, because Float Cell is also uh, very no very well known for being fast, uh, I should switch out to something that's resistant to ice and water, just to be on the safe side. Oh hey, you got the gym badge, huh? What'd I tell you, Mr. Wake, I mean, the master, is pretty awesome, hey? Oh my god, it's the king himself. What's this racket then? Oh, it's you two. Oh, master. Listen, kid, I know your father. I won't deny that. But I don't recall ever taking you on as my apprentice! Not in the least! Ow! <laughs> it doesn't matter! I made you my senpai! I decided! <laughs> but forget that! There's trouble brewing! There's a Team Galactic goon in front of the observatory gate. He said something about using a bomb. Yeah, we, we met him! What? <laughs> Fuck. No one messes with Pastoria, not on my watch. Can you imagine 
just like being part of a cult and being a terrorist, minding your own business, and then some dude in a WWE costume just comes up and beats the fuck out of you. What a day that would be. Anyway, hey, senpai, wait. I know he's saying master, but uh, you know, he's kind of having a bit of a senpai moment. So we've got our fifth gym badge. <laughs> And now we're gonna go, and then when I come back, we'll do the uh, Team Galactic Lake Valor situation and uh, try and diffuse the situation. Get it? Like diffusing a bomb. Diffusing. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Bye! <laughs> Let's go talk to. Hello? Garen? Why are you talking to me from up there? Okay. Sorry. This this way. Does my new outfit look good or what? Krogon's where it's at. Useless. <laughs> hey! What am I? Chop liver? Don't forget I'm here too. Sorry, I thought you were too busy being a crow gunk. So where's this galak? Well, that was a funny noise. That was a less funny noise. Hi. I've had half a mind to pulverize you with my Pokemon. But I have to be on my way to Lake ASAP. So you're lucky. I'm out. Alright, do I make myself clear? Now don't you dare follow me. Why am I running like this anyway? That new world, the universe that is that our boss was talking about. It's making me giddy thinking about it when we use this thing. <clears throat> you were eavesdropping. I was just talking. I was just talking to myself. I'm pooped from all the running, but I'm not going to battle you. Oh, come on, you know you want to. Just battle me. Just have a, just have a cheeky little one-on-one. -on -one. Ah, still on my tail. Blake's within sight. You leave me with no choice. You'd think they'd have given the guy, like, with the button to push the bomb, like, a better team to defend himself with. Like, that's a pretty important role that he's got there. I have no idea what he just said. I wasn't reading. Oh, it's Cynthia. Why is, like, no one trying to stop this dude? I'm literally a child putting way too much responsibility in my hands. Hi. You good? Go with your friends. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why Cynthia couldn't just do that herself. I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma. I swear you're going there anyway. There are some rare Pokemon- Yeah, exactly, that's what I was saying. There are rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it'll be worth your while to go. You got it. I don't particularly want to explore this bit. There's a- if I'm remembering correctly, there's a foggy part um, that I would like to use instead. So I'm going to use a Repel. Okay, so we're going to battle this guy, and then uh, we're going to look through that grass and see what we find, I think. I just don't want it to be a bee barrel. I'll do anything for it to not be a bee barrel, please. I'm going to go fight this lady, and then hopefully we'll be at the grass. This is taking a little while. <laughs> okay, hopefully that's the last one. And then we can see what Pokemon we encounter. Okay, what's up there? A Pokeball? No, there were berries, I remember. Okay. Not a bee barrel. Oh, right, I'll wait till the repel runs out. Oh, never mind. Ow. <laughs> you hit my head. 
it's so cute. It's just cotton for a bird. Oh, do you remember how earlier I was talking about how I used to have Moltaria? There was a girl and I called it Puff. <laughs> Okay, um, we're gonna throw some novelty balls at it <laughs> and then uh, we'll hit it with some actual balls. Oh! I just really like having these fun different kind of balls. I don't know why. <laughs> it's not something I not, I've done before. Aww. It can't relax if its surroundings are not clean. It wipes off the door with its wings. Can you just imagine just like... You know when you've got like floppy sleeves and a jumper and it's like... I need to demonstrate. Hold on. You just like wipe off some dirt. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to give her a nickname. Um, I think in honour of my... Oh. I think in, I think in honor of my, I think in honor of my old Swablu from 2007, uh, we're gonna call this one Puff as well. I'm really happy. <laughs> and we've made it to Celestic Town. <laughs> Why am I so happy? <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Well, I got my period the next day, so I'm going to guess that you were so happy because you were off your nut on hormones. Puff. She's coming with us. Clippers. You've served us well. You had your role in this game, which has been the defog guy. And you've done a really good job. And I'm really proud of what you've done. Um, if Puff dies, you are a million percent back on the team. Um, you're a valuable member, and thank you for your service. You can be reunited with your best bud, Fluffy. Um, and Boots is also there. Okay, so this is... I think we'll add up in this corner, Mesprit here, and then Uxie at the top. My name is Cyrus. I want to put an end to the pointless strife and hostility. I am seeking power to create the ideal world. Thus, I want you to answer. The world today can't change because three Pokemon keep it in balance. Is this what you are saying? I wouldn't know. I do know the world is in balance. I'm quite satisfied with the world the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. <laughs> Plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You fail to appreciate the world is incomplete. I will change the world. As a first step, I will destroy this cave painting that you have protected all these years. Don't do that! A new legend of a new world should take its place. Am I wrong if you feel that way? Challenge me. Fuck yeah. I know you, trainer. We've met at Mount Coronet. Um, that's the weird encounter I was talking about in episode six. Or five. It was five. Why would you want to protect this incomplete world? As a boss of Team Galactic, I will show you the error of your ways. Uh, I kind of wish I'd moved, um... I don't like this music. Okay. All right, the bass kind of pumping it up a little bit. <laughs> I feel like super not good about this. I don't know why. I just feel like really not good. <laughs> okay. That's fine then. Yay mud! That was dumb. Oh well, he'll survive one hit. <sighs> oh. 
I don't know who just went. Oh, Rosalina. <laughs> I'm making simple mistakes here. <laughs> Crow. Okay, so when we battle him again, it's going to be a haunch crow. I forced my hand this time. Oh well, tough shit. Oh no, it's a dark type. Oh, you're an idiot. You're a fool. You're a fool. You're a fool. You're making basic mistakes as well. You're making basic mistakes. Oh, you're a fool. You're such a fool. That was not. That was not. Oh god. Okay, I see you, and I'm gonna swap in um, Lola. Just my own peace of mind. Please don't kill her. <laughs> yeah, take cute charm, motherfucker. I'm feeling a bit cocky, sorry. <laughs> Jump kick it to death, Lola. Crud. Do you reckon he'll have four restores on him? Ah, uh, not quite, but may as well have. That's okay. We're doing fine. Okay, cool, we got this. Remarkable. But, Elder, your attitude told me what I needed to know. If the beings of time and space brought together, they can't be stopped. That's worrying, isn't it? We're gonna heal up and then I think we're gonna call it a day. Oh, not yet though. Was everything all right in there? You saw those strange people with a galactic bomb, didn't you? But those Team Galactic people, I thought they were harmless. The bizarre ways they dress, and all their wild claims about making a new universe. I thought it was just silly talk, nothing to take seriously. But they're surprisingly more trouble than expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon just isn't acceptable, I agree. By the way, were the ruins fun to explore? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna change topics like that. If you're interested, there is a library in Canelab City. It's stocked with ancient books. You can look up Sinnoh history there. It might help you complete your Pokedex too. The quickest way to Canelab City is to go west from Jubilife. Gonna heal up before the start of the next episode. Because knowing me, I'll forget. So, to sign off, we have had an evolution of Mud, who is now a Gastrodon. I hate that slurpy noise still. <laughs> and we have new addition to the squad, half the Swablu, who replaced Cliff as a Star Raptor. Although he was good Mon, he was a good Pokemon. So I think this is a really good episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. This concludes episode eight and uh, tune in for episode nine next time. Bye.